And welcome everybody to another MO7 production. Today I'm here with you with another Trails in the Sky. Oh, we're in the sewers right now. We're uh, doing a test, if I remember correctly. Which I do. Um, just got a few more items. Let's see what they show. Absolutely nothing there. It's fine. What were the... That. Equipment. So it doesn't look like we have other equipment. I just went through all the items. That's because that's we're in books. Tear bomb. What is tear bomb? It heals 200 XP and a healing cell formula by the surface church. Okay. Sure. I'm just going to leave it on all. No. Yep. And we'll go from this. So let's see how this goes. Charging stations or recovery points to let you... Okay. I do like that these exist. Because I've played other games where they don't exist like that. And it's a pain. Uh, like, um... Breath of Fire. Okay, so resting, I guess, recovers your EP. It's not MP, so... Monster, 12 o'clock. Careful not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it. Okay. So they're invisible until you get close kind of deal. Station at the start of a battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. Engaging an enemy from behind is advantages advantages while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantage. Means I should not have an advantage here to start with. Okay, so on the side I have yeah, order. Is who attacks first, it starts from the top and moves down. Oh, there's someone else back there. Um, hold on. I really should have read the first thing. I really need to go ahead and take them out. Can't use art for some reason. I don't quite like how it works like that, but that's fine. <laughs> so it is easier to use the arrows than it is to do that anyway. Move out. Well, there are some animations like that here. Hey, got some stuff. Got juicy bones. Love the name of it. Bats. Art sound effects. Okay. Those that are difficult to hit with a weapon. Yeah. I'm gonna actually try this. Hook up, which is a uh, speeds up the flow of time. Face shake, face shake. Else, why not? They have to charge. That was still pretty cool. Piece of cake. 
What are the chest is for? Got two onions. I just go heal up or eat me just because. I know we're still in tutorial stuff, so. This one. Cluster. Right, so I could go right, but I can't push. Oh, I can push. I give up with this, okay. Alright, so. I'll figure that out eventually, I guess. Let's have other effects besides just dealing out damage for their they're worth a shot. Price have range have range limits but can be utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out receiving damage during battle. Craft are character specific skills which not only deal out damage but also have a broad range of effects. Using craft consumes CP. CP is gradually gained by dealing out or receiving damage in battle. Beats an enemy senseless. I, I don't think I can do that though. That encourages allies, so that really doesn't help. Come on! <laughs> I'm going to guess his craft is going to just demolish them. A fainting assassin's attack. Got it. Unleashes a double slash with dual blades. Sure. Hey, you hit me. This was a mistake. You. Get hit again. Die. Alright. We're good to go. I didn't read what I got, but that's fine. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to sprint. I hate that that's not um, what I want it to be. Can I just do that again? Uh, what's this way? What chest? I think I saw the item I need to attack with. off. Okay. Died. That's that then. Let's move out. Juicy bones. Yum. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and just get this. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Zarkons indicate bonuses um, a lot. It. I think that means it gave me more health or something. Uh, to the battle order, if a bonus I icon appears next to a character's icon, they will receive that bonus. Alright, so that means heal HP, and that right there means seven up, etc., indicating the effect on each icon. to attack actually want to attack him <laughs> you leaving me moon oh there goes my cat you left me ah i got hit no not again looks like you might actually need to be healed So we got only one thing over here to fight. Other than the, uh... Yeah. His speed is higher. Definitely gonna have to heal you. Let's just see how quickly I can take these people out. I, however, do want to use this to heal you. It said heal 200, so that's actually way more heal than I need to. Are we ever gonna do anything? forward as you can. Got a free heal and I'm going to go ahead and move you the rest of the way up. If we're going to do anything. You're too far. Uh, I'm not going to waste a tumble then. Can't attack, so I'm just going to go ahead and move up as it is. And this is actually going to be the final blow anyway, so it's not like it matters. That's that then. Let's move out. I got an email from Crunchyroll. What do they want? I'm good. And I ain't worried about um, Robin Hood either. I don't know. Yeah, that should be what I'm earning, I guess. Crisp onion, cultivated horns, and juicy bones. Mmm, sounds delicious. Where we get? What do we got in the chest? Small box. Couple boxes inside the treasure chest. In fact, there's not just one, but two. It's kind of interesting, too. I wonder what's inside. I don't know why it's in a different voice, but okay. Remember, Estella. Our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside these boxes don't fall under our mission objective. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This is nothing to do with our mission. This, it's what I like to call, call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with um, a teensy-weensy peek, right? 
No. If you feel like flunking today's tests, by all means be my guest. Did you just say that word? Yep. Opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they were nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, jo Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have, have to know what's inside, why not ask Miss Sarah, Miss, Miss Gara, when you get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out there. All right, all right. What's this way? Nothing. Got it. Oh, that's... I even clicked on it like an idiot. It's here. I want to go ahead and just heal up anyway. Just because I'm already here. Might as well. I know I'm one of those people that sit there, take a little bit of damage, and instantly heal. I know I am. I'm sorry. So I just now realized on the title card of this game, it's got Mascara as one of the people looking in the party. I wonder if that's only because of early things. And then there's two kids that were playing look like they're also in the title card. Huh, interesting. Good work, you two. As a result of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Yep, they're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. I figured she would try and set us up on that. Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You don't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, right? So, uh, Sarah, what's in the boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and you to find out after your training is finished. That's enough um, chit chat for now. Let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? Well, I. Didn't you just say we have passed the test? You still have to learn how to how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time <laughs> to drink your duties. <laughs> Yawn. To drink your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is the day going to ever be over? Oh well, no sense in giving up when when the finish line is in sight. Agree. It seems like like we're within reach, reaching distance of our goal. The final training is is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it isn't your duty to report the results. Um, it is your duty to report the, to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolve the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch as you already know by now. Anna is in charge of is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things come from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training? And talk to. Okay, yeah. That should be, you know, fairly simple. Report. Brief payment from. Yep. One BP. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to take of is depending on how you handle the job you may see an increase or decrease of the amount of pay you receive when you report the results of your work to the guild pay in the form of mira yeah, mira isn't the only thing you will receive you will also accumulate points which are known as bp bracer points ah bp are an indication of your achievement as a bracer when these points exceed a certain value you will advance Fence in a rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment from by the guild. The rank of a junior bracer starts at 9 and go all the way up to... What? <laughs> oh. Please set your sights on making first rank and working hard. The amount of mirror and VP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please 
have a look sometime sometime later on. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Anna, and sorry about putting more work on your plate than usual. Don't worry about it, training. New bracers is important for the future of the guild. I finally intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing Scara, it'll involve the whip. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you'll be learning from real-world experience. Well then, there holds out two small boxes. Aren't those, the, aren't those the boxes? I answer, in answer to your question, yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. Seemingly curious, you seem awful curious to find out what's inside, Estella. Are you saying that it's okay for, if we open them? That's right. I don't. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. So they open their boxes. Looks like a guild. Um, emblem. Yep. Yay. This crest is... So does this mean we're... Uh-huh. Estella Bright. Joshua Bright. Oh, great. They're both Brights now. Beginning, beginning this day at 1500 hours. That is... Seven o'clock? Five o'clock? Ah, shit. I think it's five o'clock. You are both hereby appointed junior bracers within the Bracers Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracers Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. Or did that say guild? I have no idea what the hell that just said. Did you hear that? We become members of the Bracer Guild. So I'm a bracer now, huh? Looks like the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Look at us now, world. We did it. I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt the celebration, Estella, but I need to take off now. I have some... I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand you have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Scara, head out, Scara, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all, all the trouble you've gone through for us, Scara. Don't mention, don't mention it, training new recruits is one of the Bracers' main duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoe a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. Now that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? Actually much more, there's actually much more to it than that, but I'll save the conversation for another day. As for the both of you... Work hard and become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who came after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with it. That's, that's tough. Ah. Leave you with that, though. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Scarizard's aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we've we've talked about. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? He seems like nothing more than a good, good old middle-aged man who is always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no good middle-aged man, huh? From from your view, it doesn't seem it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry up and home. We should let Dad know that we qualify for junior bracers. Right. Alright, so. I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to, um. Trying to think. 
and save. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and call this for today's session. I just um getting late enough that um I that I'm going to need to <sighs> take a break. Until then, I hope you all have enjoyed this, and we will see you in the next episode. And enjoy. Bye.